Hi, this is Steven with the Teapot Tutorial. Uh, I am going to redo the last portion of the Teapot video. I've, I've gotten some feedback and uh, it was a little winded and hard to follow. So I'm going to try again. Hopefully this one will be a little bit better. But basically you should have a handle and your shape. And in this third part, I just want to introduce uh, two main tools. One is the append to polygon tool and the other is the bridge tool. And uh, to, to use the bridge tool, we need to connect two faces. Uh, but, uh, but before I do this, I'm going to go ahead and double click this edge loop and delete that edit mesh, delete edge vertex. Okay, because a lot of you may be starting here. And uh, there's two ways to do the bridge tool. I'll go ahead and show you both ways. One is uh, you can select two uh, faces that have the same number of edges. For example, this face has one, two, three, four edge. This has one, two, three, four. I'm going to delete those. And then I double click this edge loop pair or edge loop ring and shift click this one. And as long as these are part of the same object, I can create an extrusion that connects those. It's called bridge. You go into edit mesh bridge. I'm going to go to the option box. You get a couple of options here. I'm going to reset. Uh, a linear path would create a straight line between these two. It's going to correspond this edge with this edge and make a face between this edge and this edge. And I can uh, apply that and see what happens. Uh, I'm going to undo that. Um, I want to go to the edge or smooth path plus curve. And uh, you can set well, how many divisions you want. Five is good. And when I create that, it creates my shape. But uh, it doesn't look right. It, uh, it's kind of wonky. It looks like this edge is actually being connected with the top edge. Uh, sometimes it, the model just doesn't figure it out correctly. But in your uh, inputs for the bridge, there is a bridge offset. And this will, uh, as we middle mouse click and drag, start at one and that corrected it. Now this edge is connecting this edge. I think this edge was somehow connecting to the top edge. Uh, we can give it a, a taper which will, will make it thinner but it's we're still having a lot of issues in here and the way we fix that is inside of this geometry if I click four you can see a line that is a curve. If I right click on that curve I can click it curve components and that curve will shape that bridge so I'm, I'm clicking those purple dots and uh, that's how you would modify a bridge shape so that's one way to do it um, okay um, and another thing I, I forgot to mention is uh, suppose I didn't want this bottom shape to be so big I could create I'm sorry I could delete this face and insert an edge loop and I can rebuild portions of it I did want to demonstrate how to rebuild a portion so I need this block back it's called a pin to polygon and I just select one edge and then the opposite edge of the face I want to build and that'll and hit enter and that's one way to bit, uh, rebuild a face so I could do the same thing here uh, hit a face here okay now we've been creating a hole and connecting edges what's new in Maya and this is something I just learned is you can uh, bridge between faces this is uh, a relatively new feature 
Uh, so I do the same thing and I just hit apply and I don't have to cut out those holes um, and it can do the uh, same thing we've been doing you give it a one on the offset usually you won't have to give it an offset hit four and then just uh, like we did with it before control vertices Five. So that's it. I'm going to leave it with you. That's how you would bridge a handle. You can do between faces. Uh, you can do between uh, holes that you cut out. And I showed you how to fill in a hole with the Appen Polygon tool. And that's all I want to cover in this tutorial. Hope this one was a little shorter, a little bit easier to follow. Um, hope this helps.